Hey guys, um, so I want to see how quickly I can do this video because we have some bad weather that is coming in right now in this area. So, um, yeah, I figured I'd make a quick video on a situation that I'm dealing with uh, currently with my plants. Well, specifically my succulents and anybody else who has had succulents for a while might have dealt with a similar issue. Uh, and the issue that I have been dealing with recently is mealybugs. Um, I've had quite the infestation take over uh, on most of my succulents recently. Uh, for anybody who is not aware, mealybugs are, I don't know, I'll see if I can insert a photo here. Um, if so, show it right now. So yes, there are these little insect uh, little insects that are kind of like whitish gray. They've got almost like curly antennae and they love to basically kill your succulents. <laughs> I think they they like eat something from inside the plant or drink from the plant. Basically, the, the way that I usually know that I have mealybugs aside from seeing them is when I have either one plants that for seemingly no reason are just not growing quickly or just not doing well at all um usually that's one of the first things i'll start checking for is any sign of mealybugs on the plants uh, usually in between the leaves or sometimes you'll have to uproot the plant and the infestation can be all the way down into the roots um, so it can be really, really tricky. Another sign that I usually look for, um, I'll see if I can show you guys in a minute, but you'll see, um, like soil or dirt that seems kind of like randomly all over your plants and odd spots where you know that you haven't made a mess. And like, I'll notice it in between the leaves of my plants sometimes. And I'm like, how, how do these get so messy, so dirty? And it's usually that uh, they are bringing that soil with them and spreading it all over the plants in between the leaves. Uh, excuse me. I'll see if I can show you real quick because I have an aloe over here that was recently infested that I treated and I'll show you what it looks like, uh, the signs that I first saw. So you can see here, all the excess soil that's in between the leaves here that was not there before and I definitely didn't spill anything on this guy and yeah that was one of the first signs that told me that something was going on with this one the other one that was badly infested was this guy here and you can see the damage right here um, he had a bad infestation all throughout the roots and everything. I basically ended up treating all of these plants here, uh, some of my others as well, all these little guys. Um, I don't know if you can, no, nothing visible now. They were all over the place at the base of these little aniums over here. And uh, it was it was quite a mess. So yeah, that's that's the the dirt that I was just talking about. Um, and the other sign I normally look for that tells me that mealybugs might be a thing uh, is weird misshapen leaves on my growing plants. Like I'll have them and they'll form like all curved or like just deformed in one way or another. And usually that is another sign to me that I might have an infestation going on in that plant. Um, generally, they're pretty easy. It's pretty easy to kill them, to get rid of the mealybugs. Um, the way I do it is with uh, isopropyl 70% uh, alcohol. And basically I have a misting bottle and I will put the 70% alcohol inside of it and I will mist all of the infected plants thoroughly as well as any plants that are nearby to the infected plants. Um, and that usually kills them. You'll actually see the bodies of the mealybugs turn like a reddish color. And 
Yeah, it seeps through their skin and it kills them instantly. The problem is that they hide so well in the roots, in the soil, in between the leaves, that it's it's very, very easy to miss them. And it's one of those situations where like, you miss one and you're gonna be overrun again in a few days. So it, it sucks. You gotta be really, really thorough when treating to get rid of these guys. Uh, otherwise, yeah, you're just gonna keep having the same issue over and over again. It is a pretty common issue. Usually when I get new plants uh, from like the store or anything like that, <clears throat> Um, usually I'll always check them really thoroughly for any sign of mealies just because that tends to be, at least for me, like where I tend to get mealy bugs the most is buying a new plant and then all of a sudden you have one little guy that's been piggybacking on that new plant you brought in and then the next thing you know you have a huge infestation in all of your other plants. So you just have to be careful and make sure you check your new plants thoroughly just to make sure you're not bringing in any unwanted visitors yeah so that's that's what i've been dealing with recently i'm still obviously watching just to make sure that uh i'm not getting any other new guys popping up they were all in my my leaves that i've been propagating too i have a lot of like black prints let me see this guy was really really difficult i don't know if it's gonna focus probably not oh camera's over here good job sarah Anyways, yeah, it's not really going to focus. I got a lot of Black Prince babies on here. And they're very, like, bunched up close together. You can see all the roots everywhere. And this guy was full of mealy bugs the other day. And I had to treat him. Just making sure I don't see anything on him now. But he seems to be good. And yeah, they were hiding all throughout the roots and everything. So I had to make sure I sprayed him like really, really thoroughly. Um, so that he wouldn't continue to take damage from those guys. So yeah, I mean, like I said, they were everywhere. I, I still, I'm just going to keep an eye out and hopefully we run, we're not going to see any more. Um, but we will see. Uh, any other updates? I don't think so. So, yeah, if you guys have had uh, similar situations with mealybugs, let me know how you were able to control the situation. Um, what did you have to do? Did you use the alcohol like I did? Do you have another trick that works for getting rid of them? Any other tips or advice? I'm always open to uh, getting new advice for treating my plants and making sure they're all healthy and happy. Um, and then if you are getting into succulents or you have succulents and you are still learning about them, just know that mealybugs are a thing. They're pretty common. Um, as far as I know, they don't bother us. They don't bite or anything weird like that. You don't have to worry about that. Um, and like I said, they're really easy to kill. Just make sure you're very, very thorough when you're treating for them so they don't come back again. And... Uh, that's that's going to be it and I hope you guys enjoy it I hope you guys maybe learned something and maybe uh, if you like I said if you have more information for me where I can learn something too that's just extra great and I will see you guys again soon bye